All right. I think it's time for tour to start. If you're done, uh, troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Yeah. Uh, it cannot be fixed. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Let me. I'm trusting. I'm trusting you to uh, do several things, and they are uh, read to me what's happening in chat because I can't see, and also. Uh, Say the names of the baseball players I do not remember. That is many things. Okay. You should have me on Discord. How's how's everything looking? How are the vibes? Looks like you are showing up on Twitch. Okay, hell yeah. Okay, this is the Null Team house. We start in the basement at the furthest corner. This is Jalen's room. Uh, Jalen has a, FF, a ham radio station because she was feedbacked. She does have a window. It doesn't go anywhere because this is underground. Uh, what else did I put in here? Everybody gets a baseball, everybody gets a bed. Just, you know, normal normal room stuff. A stereo, a drum set that she can't use. A guitar of some kind. Normal stuff. This is, uh, it's Gerald something? It's Gerald Massey. Play for the Fridays. Uh, there's nothing about them on the wiki. So I just kind of put some junk on a, on a table and gave them a very large sign, which does extend down because it is not designed to be put into basements. There's Jenna something. Maldonado. Who played for? Nadale. Nadale. Uh, do not remember why her room looks like this. <laughs> She's some kind of goddess. Or a princess of some kind. Oh. Yeah, she was an angel of some sort. Okay, yeah. Um, Tyreek Olive, the first firefighter to be incinerated. Uh got a skeleton because uh, they've been released. They've got this, which is called an inferno hoop. Uh, we've got a fireplace. Got, you know, some trophies. Stuff like that. Uh, fire extinguisher. A candle underneath a wooden table. Got a stove. Uh, got some banners on top of the stove. I've got this T-Rex here. I don't remember why I put it down, but it's funny, so it stayed. Um, and a fire pit. Is all the fire hazards in here? There's a smoke alarm, also. This is one of approximately three smoke alarms in this house. Uh, next is Nor Perez and the crab got a bunch of bunk beds so the crabs can sleep over if they want to. Um, there is no crab terrarium, so I put a fish terrarium and a turtle terrarium next to each other, and that basically evens out to a crab. Also, there's an octopus. And it's basic aquatic life mass. Yeah, and a shark over there. Uh, Scrap Murphy. Also has been released. Um, I got a bicycle and a recycling bin because millennials like to bike and recycle, I guess. And a bodega, kind of. I don't remember why I put cat stuff in here, but this is a cat castle. Oh, this is somebody from the stakes. Do not remember who. Um, Lars Mendoza. Lars Mendoza. Oh, also, I forgot. This is the Murphy bed that I put in here only because their name is Scott Murphy. Okay, Lars Mendoza, play for the stakes. 
that's about it. So I gave them uh, four discrete grills. This is a bathroom that you can't get into. It has two tubs and a door that goes to nowhere and is also blocked by a, a hamper. This is Sissa Elf Tower's room. She played for the Yellowstone Magic. It was just a basalt pillar. So I just put some pillars and stone stuff in here. Um, next is uh, they play for the spies. Dickerson Greatness. Dickerson Greatness. I don't remember why they have an ant farm. Uh, but they did crawl into the spies dug out through a bathroom window. So I gave them a bathroom and a window. And spy stuff, I guess. Famous O'Connor, who played for the Yellowstone Magic. And his parents owned the team. So he was just like a rich boy. So I gave him a bunch of expensive stuff. Uh, this person plays the Moist Talkers, and I don't remember their name. Trevino Merritt. Trevino Merritt. Got this, uh, big frog. That's about it. As this is Della Cruz. Also played for the Stakes. Also not a lot about them. So I just kind of gave them a, a steakhouse with a bed in it. I don't think I've ever been in a steakhouse. And I didn't look up any pictures of a steakhouse, so this is just my guess at what a steakhouse looks like. It's just the the essence of a steakhouse that came to you in a dream. Yeah. Jesse Wise, who was replaced by York Silk on the Fridays. I just kind of gave them a pool room to do pool stuff in. I did put down this place ball and then... Uh, forgot that I had and then didn't know why it wouldn't let me make just like a regular rectangle pool so I went around it and then later found it figured out that it was because I had put an object down here and then never went back to fix it that's just what this looks like now I think that, base, uh, that baseball makes the ladder inaccessible doesn't it <laughs> it might but Sims, can, Sims of the Sims 3 can climb out on um, any side of, uh, of a pool. They don't need a ladder. So, uh, it will not kill anybody. Oh, uh, this is the person with all the ribs. Harley Pacheo. Harley Pacheo played for the flowers and had the most ribs in the Chaotic Deadly. So I just put a bunch of skeletons in here. That's it. It's just skeletons. Is Alexandria Dracena, who was a vampire, played for the Jazz Hands. Very proud of this room. Because there's a bunch of vampire stuff. There's a coffin. There's just a bunch of random pictures of people. Uh, there's a mirror with a curtain over it. This is a Breckenridge bench. That's its name. Yeah, you know, vampire stuff. Uh, there's this ghost cowboy. Who oh, shows up in another room later. Uh, this person played for the Dalai. Um, Alden Anthony. Alden Anthony. That, that's it. Just a weird rave room. Uh, is this Cedric Gonzalez? Yes, it is. Cadillac what? Do you want to tell? Do you want to see what the lore is for Cedric Gonzalez? Um, uh, so Cedric Gonzalez, after he died, did not have a lot of lore like before he died, but after he died, it said that the pies uh, teamed up with Tasty Cake to make a um, memorial commemorative pie. Um, and here, let me just load up the description. <laughs> Uh, 
the proposed Gonzalez pie was marketed as a traditional yet listless pie crust with a peach and apple filling topped with a sprinkling of sugar and ash. And then um, later, Tasty Cake executives announced that in a news briefing that Gonzalez pies were going forward would be topped with synthetic Gonzalez ashes um, as a natural uh, as natural Gonzalez ash had become hard to uh, had become a rare commodity. Um, quote, our synthetic Gonzalez ash is 100% guaranteed to have been procured from house incinerated clone of Cedric Gonzalez. <laughs> I made like a little, a little diner area. <laughs> oh, you know, you can play shuffleboard over here. Hang out as normal stuff, you know? Uh, this is Reese. Trombone? Yep. Reese Trombone. Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Uh, did not play the trombone. The pie is okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I, I have no idea how the pies are doing in general. Uh, Bennett Browning, who was a bear, played for the garages, uh, played the spoons. So I did put some spoons over here. Uh, mostly I just made this like a little bear enclosure, so you got a slide to go down, got like a big horse ball to play with, a picnic basket, an aquarium to watch some fish, there's, there's ramen English. inside of this tree stump, um, a radio, and then a bunch of teddy bears. This is what bears like. Because you're also in a fic writing them as a person who just wears a hoodie. Yeah, right. that's because mm -hmm. Marn just drew them as a person who wears a hoodie. <laughs> no human in a hoodie also needs the enrichment. Yeah. What? People do need enrichment. That's just a fact of life. Yeah, this is what we know after like half a year of lockdown is that you really need to put enrichment into your enclosure. Although, like, just get some salmon and trap it in a box. And then try to free it. Yeah. You'll feel better. You don't even need to pay for therapy now. Um, no, it's just salmon. Uh, this is... Who is this? Um, this is Brian Ayachong. What team? The Flowers. The I, flowers. I forget uh, too. Um, they're just like an amalgam of flesh, right? Wait, what? They were just like an amalgam of flesh, right? Yeah, they were just a mass of flesh. You know. Yeah. So I just kind of gave them some occult stuff. You know? It's, I don't Alchemy Station. Uh, a, a bar. A single clock. And a chair where you can stare at a baseball. And then some preserved animal. And this uh, weird crypt bed. Um, oh god, I always forget this person's name. Juan Wrangle. Juan Wrangle. Play for the Philly Pies, as you can tell from the Liberty Belt that's just in the middle here. Uh, I just kind of made this into a bar. People from Philly like bars. I don't know why The Sims has anything. <laughs> Like, this is has several varieties of preserved animals. But it doesn't have a phone booth. Hmm? It has all these preserved animals, but no phone booth. Yeah, no phone booth. That That's a little uh, sneak peek to the future. No phone booth. Yeah. Uh, this is Paul Barnes who is just Paul Blart, sort of. Yeah, it's heavily implied that it's Paul Blart in witness protection. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Paul Blart stuff, like uh, vending machines, uh, a baby carriage, because there was no segue. Um, ping pong? Does Paul Blart play ping pong? I don't know. Maybe Paul Blart in witness protection plays ping pong. I, I don't know how the ping pong table ended up there. Um, <laughs> I needed something to fill space. 
made this room too big. <laughs> yeah, uh, Paul Barnes was a pitcher, and when Marn was doing research for her fic, she was like, she listed out all the dead pitchers, and nobody <laughs> remembered anything about Paul Barnes. In, in the, the mini blaze ball, he has a chicken, and that's all I know about him. Yeah, there's no. I could put a. I could have put a bird cage in here, but I didn't. Um, who is this? They play for the Dalai. Um, Theodore Pathan. Yeah, they're the Dalai. You can tell because there's a tag. There's not a lot about them, so I just kind of put some lava lamps in here, and a big stereo underneath underneath their bed. Uh, this is the person who had an Etsy shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is um, Miguel Javier, who all of the drawings make them look like some sort of, like, Zorro pastiche, but then the only thing written on the actual wiki page is a mention of an Etsy shop. Yeah, so I did give them some swords, and also this bed that has a horse on it, uh, and a whiteboard for planning out Etsy stuff, but there's no, like, craft bin. I could put in here, so. Um, this is Chorby Soul, played for the mills. It has the worst possible apartment that I could build. Washer, but no dryer. Gotta hang up your clothes up to dry, but there's no windows to the exterior, and also it's underground. Um, do have a mini fridge and a microwave and a coffee maker, but no sink. And have central air, and you're the only room that has central air, and also there are no vents. None of these. It's just, it's just pipe. This is just the apartment I lived in my sophomore year. With no windows. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah. The, the closet? No, no, this wasn't the closet. Okay. I've, I've lived in really fucked up apartments. Um Look, like half of the house is underground. That makes it cooler. What you really need is heat. And they've been on fire, so it's fine. Uh, this is the person with the toaster. Just a green toaster. Uh, they got incinerated because the tacos played in the rain, and they were a pitcher. And they were playing in the rain, and the rain shorted out their, like, circuitry and stuff. So an ump incinerated them to make sure that uh, stuff kept going, so it didn't hold up play. Yeah, now the gas. Uh, there are no toasters, so I just kind of gave them the rest of a kitchen. Um, and a little plant, you know. Uh, this... Is Kennedy this Olf 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 Yes. Okay. Um... <laughs> child of all stop the football player so i put a football here uh also moist talker so they got a water slide didn't really know what else to put in here <laughs> um this is also a sunbeam yes yeah, this is um velasco's meadows who i forgot what their deal was and i'm a bad sunbeam for it you're a good sunbeam. Uh, I made them some kind of enclosure. This is a, a reptile terrarium, and this is an ant farm, so they were some kind of creature, I assume. I kind of don't want to click it. Let's just assume they were a lizard. Yeah. Let's live in that universe now. They're uh, a lizard. This is Aki Mendoza's room. Aki Mendoza is a jazz hand, uh, so they got the Breckenridge bench. And they were a marble statue who uh, got some of the spirit of Lars Mendoza when Lars Mendoza was incinerated. So, uh, you know, jazz stuff, like a, a lady and a piano and a, a big frog. People know some that of the people who like jazz. jazz like. Icon, big frog. And the Broken Ridge Bench, of course. Uh... This is a shoe thief. Is this Sebastian Townsend? Yep, this is Sebastian Townsend. Known Skeletor. Known Skeletor. So, you know, skeleton. 
And also, lots of pairs of bronzed shoes. Um, Atlas Shamboy. Formerly was the uh, shortest, had the shortest room for getting incinerated. Um, but that didn't really work out. They, they got beat, so now they don't even get to hold that. Yeah. And I do get some cameras and a, a model train set and some shoes. This is Tyler Violet, who is some kind of sea urchin, I think. Ivy. The sea urchin fish person. Yeah, so, you know, aquarium vibe in this room. Yeah, chat. Early lore was just the Wild West. You could just say anything. <laughs> that was just going there. And then, like, a lot of these, no one has ever come back to, like, check it or be like, let's update it, you know, bring it in line with other stuff. So, like, sometimes characters are just Skeletor. That's very funny. Uh, Tiana Cash. Everybody knows Tiana Cash. The one of two dead garages to get a song. Some kind of phoenix, maybe. So, uh, they also got a fireplace. Uh, this is Jorge Ito, who was a lizard, and was the lizard of Junji Ito, the horror <laughs> no. And also held the record for most place balls, even in one sitting. Yeah. yeah. I, I could have put in more place balls, but I, I did not. Um, but I did give them a little enclosure, so you know you've got windows, but lots of space to hide. This little bit back here, that's a good hide. Some rocks to sun on. Some water, you know, just in general, like a really nice area for a lizard to live in. I think I also put some pet food in here. Yeah. Um, this is also a shoe. Um, it's Mateo Prestige. Mateo Prestige. There are a lot of dead shoe thieves, is what I learned from doing this. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot it's about them. It's not hot new baseball ship, um, says the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Sam Solis. Our pitcher for the Fridays. They're fraternal twins, and they pitched each other. So, um, two, one room split down the middle. Ping pong for, for practice. I don't remember why I gave one of them uh, a reptile or a, is this an aquarium? This is an aquarium. Uh, but I did. The other one got a uh, dart. Uh, this is uh, Shaquille Torres, also a dead garage. Also does not have a song. They were a streamer, so I gave them a little streaming setup. The green screen wall and some swords. People who stream like swords. Um, yeah, Shaquille's page just has like a picture of a human man. Yeah. Um, and I don't know who that man is. It's terror. It, it frightens me. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, some things that are kind of like Funko Pops, just like a bunch of video game systems, you know, typical streamer stuff. Also, there are two blaze balls in this room. I don't remember why I put two in here, and I think it might have been because I forgot I had already put one in. So. They get to. Uh, this is Lancashire Fisher, who is also just kind of a mass of flesh. Uh, liked horses, so uh, you know, horseback. Where did saying that the streamer was ninja? I didn't know that ninja looked like that. Horse wallpaper, horse statue, saddle. Why did they have a player that was just ninja? What the hell, Garages? <laughs> what the hell? Horse bust. Also, they were on the shoe team, so they got some shoes. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, ah. something, something teeth. There was something about teeth, so I gave them some, uh, some skeletons. Yeah, this was really good wallpaper. I really like this wallpaper. I 
keep thinking that it's flowers and then putting it in rooms and then having to change it because it is just some cowboys. We should make lore the Wild West again. Just complete anarchy. No rules, just right. No rules, just right. This is Miki Santana, who is on the spies. It's a child of Hatsune Miku and Santana, who is a sports person. Uh, didn't really know how to represent that, so I gave them a, a microphone and a guitar. And then some spy shit. Like a big briefcase that will not fit on any table. Also, a security system, I think, because they're a spy. Um, who is this? Apparently, Santana is a guitarist. I didn't know this. So. Okay, I don't know anything. I know, I know zero things. <laughs> I built this entire house in a fugue state. I'm I'm the consultant for knowing things, and I did not do a good job. <laughs> Whose room is this? I know they don't fear God because their bed is in the middle. Um, Hendrix Wrangle. Hendrix Wrangle was on the Fridays. Okay. Hello. Yeah, there's some. I don't know what's happening over here. I don't know why I put like a big dinosaur footprint in a lantern. I don't remember why I decorated this room the way that I did. Why there's a big statue of a woman. I Again, I'm, I'm not going to check. We don't get to know. <laughs> yeah, um, this is Sebastian Sunshine. It was just made of light. So uh, I put as many lights as possible in this room. They were also on the Fridays, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, also on the Fridays. And got uh, released, which is something that we forgot. Had to go back and fix. Yep. Uh, Derek Kruger, Martin's favorite. Uh, got Martin to consult on this one. So, every kind of stereo, of which there's a lot. A uh, keyboard, a framed guitar, uh, this ghost cowboy. Look, Sebastian Sunshine's room was hard for me to build. <laughs> I'm photo sensitive. It was bad. Oh yeah, the the skeleton represents players who were released. Yeah, if it's in the bed, that if the skeleton is in the bed, then that player has been released. Uh, just like an emo boy. Um, yeah, that's that's Derek Kruger. Um. This is Isaac Rubberman. Yeah. Who uh, was on the flowers, but hours before their death, one of the RP accounts threatened to kill them, and that person was a shoe thief. So I have put a rack of shoes with a sword over it so that Isaac Rubberman remembers who really killed them. Um, Next is Langley Wheeler. Yeah, Langley Wheeler who could never touch the ground and uh, rode on a hoverboard and was about to fall off of it, so an ump incinerated her to save her from disgrace. So I gave her a fighter jet. This is the most expensive item that I have. Uh, it's just a big fighter jet. I forgot about the fighter jet. Oh my god. Yeah. There's a fighter jet, and then in the corner there's a, there's a sleeping bag because everybody has to have a place to sleep. Then Landry's room, last incineration of season three. Uh, has been released. Got a piano. Uh, we decided that Landry took over the rec room. So this wall, this used to be a wall and it just got knocked down. Uh, so you got this nice kitchen. There's no sink here. I forgot that I didn't put a sink over here. But there is a dishwasher, so it's probably fine. I think Landry's room might be my favorite. Yeah, it got uh, this weird statue. 
Uh, Landry doesn't know how to drive, so there was a car in here, and then they uh, sunk it to the bottom of the pool. You do have to swim across here in order to get over to the uh, the ten lane bowling alley, and the photo booth, and also the bar, and the kitchenette. I did put up little disco balls. So you can have Galaxy Bowl, which is the most important part of having a bowling alley. I don't think that it's possible to actually use any of these loungers, at least for a sim to use any of these loungers, especially not on this side. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. I do not think I left enough space. Yeah, they, they have to swim around, and at one point the dog just like swam in between each chair and kept getting angry about swimming. Yeah, and the died. dog, Pet Tester, hates swimming and kept on getting into the pool and then being like, I want to get out of the pool and then getting out and then having to get back in because there is no way to cross this pool without swimming the entire length. All right. Upstairs, season four. This is what Steak Knife, who was a steak knife. I also just kind of gave them a kitchen and a big dining table. Um, and a double bed. I think what Steak Knife was a wife guy, but I don't remember. Yeah, um, Steak Knife wife guy. Um, who is this? That is Stevenson Monstera, who played for the Stakes. Also, do not remember anything about their lore, but something about it made me think that they would have a keyboard and then a couch right in front of it, so you have to stare them directly in the eye while they play. I think they're related to Ron of the Garages, and so it like mentions that they both did keyboard. Oh, I can absolutely show the floor is zoomed out once I finish this tour, because it is a lot. Uh, also, this heart bed. Don't remember why that was. Also, um, what is this? Oh, that's clipping in from the other side. That's fine. I thought it's an item in this floor. Um, puzzle bookcase. This person was a seraph. Yeah, it was Eduardo Ingram, who... The, part of their lore is that they're married to another player, and it's like, if one of them dies, the universe will end, so, uh, whoops. Yeah, uh, I just kind of gave them some bird stuff. Para for the scene. Um, this is Matteo Carpenter, who's actually an electrician. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of electrical stuff that's not just, like, computers. So I put a bunch of clocks over here. And how many clocks? Uh, Vila, you specifically requested a number of clocks. I don't remember this at all. You, you did. I was like, what do I put here? And you were like, you should put 10 clocks. And I was like, okay, I don't think there are 10 different clocks. So I put several different clocks with, with different coloring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 clocks. One dozen clocks. I was possessed, I guess, just more clock. Yeah, and then also uh, over here is a, I found some more like electronic stuff. So I just kind of put that out here. And then here's the chair where you stare at a lamp. Just kind I of marveling at it. That's what electricians do? Uh, um, comes one day. I also gave them a bathroom that you cannot get into because this is not a door, this is a window. I think at one point it was accessible and then we had to fix that. Yeah, I was trying to make it because early on in testing, a uh, place ball tester wouldn't go through a door because there was a curtain over it, so I had to change that. So I was like, oh, Sims can't go through doors that have curtains over it. But apparently they can when it's this curtain, so I had to change it into a window. Um, yeah, mirrors, places to do your hair. That's comes one day. 
like there's a an interesting mix of like players with no lore whatsoever and then players with stuff that's very hard to represent through a room. Yes. Uh, Combs Monday has a bunch of combs. Like I don't know, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, let's see, Thomas England. He's just British, so here's the stuff that British people like, right? Tea. Here's like a tea room type thing. Uh, there's a fancy bed. I put a dartboard here because uh, I've seen some British dart TV shows where they play darts. You know, the usual. I love this this fancy little painting. Yes, fancy little woman. Also, there's a window here because uh, the rule is made that there are no exterior windows. So there is a window here, but he's mostly covered it with a banner. Uh, this is Mario Doyle. Yep, it is. But the Grand on Slam has been released. Skeleton in bed. Um, do not remember why I put a bicycle here or any of this. Or this lamp in the middle of the room. <laughs> Something in the lore. Uh, this long hallway doesn't have to do with the war, I just thought it was funny. I think this Moro Doyle was like unmoored in time or something. I don't know. Oh, mm. right, because it's Baby Doyle and the other Doyles. Um. This Richardson Perkoy, who was just a bunch of, like, algae. Yeah, play for the magic. Also, there's a, there's a window into here, but I think that Richardson Turquoise probably spends most of their time in this fountain, so it's fine. Uh, and the internet. It's a internet cafe, but with no chairs. It's it's standing desks. It's the hit new thing. Yeah. The new thing. Standing desks. Uh, also, this weird uh, bench that I found very close to the TV. And an arcade cabinet. There's a lot of different computers and game consoles. I just kind of scattered around here. And also, uh, and the internet has been released. So, they get a skeleton. Horse book baby. Um, why are the lights off in half of this house? I don't know. Okay, I need to fix that real quick. One sec. Let me just turn on all lights. There we go. Uh, Forest book baby. Books. There's a dance floor. I don't remember why, but it, it's in the lore. I know it's in the lore. Um, I, I don't remember that, because Forrest Book Baby did, like, the bookkeeping for the Shoe Thieves crime stuff, and then got feedback to the pies. <laughs> uh, anyway. Wasn't generated for maybe embezzling from an umpire. Yeah, that checks. Uh, book puzzle. Get into... Um, Caligula Lotus, who's just, like, a plant person, so... I've made this big room that's just full of plants, which are clipping through the walls on this side, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, Randy Weed. Randy Marijuana. Randy. Uh, you specifically requested bowling alley carpet, so I did the best that I could with what I had. Yeah, we were like tacky arcade bowling alley carpet. Yep. So, stereo, some whatever's going on here. I think this is a griffin, but I'm not sure. Some just discs. Uh, 
this is the Breckenridge bench because as much as both of us forget, I'm a I'm a jazz hand. Being like the sunbeam, as much as both of us forget that the that Randy was on the jazz hands. He was on the jazz hands. The jazz hands took him from us and murdered him. <laughs> we purposefully killed Randy Weed so he could get who, Steph Weeks. Steph Weeks. What's Steph Weeks deal? Do you know? Uh, Steph Weeks has a bunch of arms. They're part of the, the Stevens Leitner Collective, and there's an odd number of Stevens. So, and Stevens uh, really wants to be even Stevens. So uh, one of them split off and became Steph Weeks. They have nine arms, one for each day of the week. That's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> but you still killed our boy. <laughs> so sorry, we killed your boy. Uh, got we murdered our mascot. Um, medicine cabinet for, I don't, is Randy depressed? Does Randy have ADHD? Probably one of the two. Probably. Uh, gamer setup. I'm really proud of the amount of clutter that I got into this desk. Uh, also grow up over here. These are ranch weeds and then some UV lights. Also this, I do not know what this is. I do not know what it does. It just looks nice. Bit of a, a, a spoiler, but I like that Randy Weed has all the weeds in his room, but Dominic does not. No, Dominic, <laughs> there's no space in Dom's room. Uh, this is Mickey, Mickey Woods. Yeah. Who, uh, convicted of manslaughter. Right. Canonically. I forgot that Mickey Woods was canonically <laughs> convicted of manslaughter. I was not sure how to uh, portray that in this room. I just kind of put some protest signs over here. Mickey Woods was working at a construction site and, like, threw something very well, and it killed a man. Um, but the pie saw how well they did the throw and was like, join us instead of going to jail. Yeah, so, um, robot arm, because of construction, oven, because of pies. The pies are not okay. <laughs> the pies are not okay. <laughs> um, this is also just a guy, right? It's uh, Wesley Dudley. Wesley Dudley. Who's who's man. You can tell because of the subway grating. Uh, also a gamer. Uh, claw machine. Streamer setup. Big box of ramen. Uh, Moody Cookbook, who's just kind of got a nice kitchen with a bunch of books in it. Yeah, it's, it's it's a shockingly normal room. Also, the first one to have been a debt, so they get a little panda piggy bank. R.I.V. Moody. R.I.V. Moody Cookbook. I'm so sad about the, the multi-team interaction with Moody. Very good that he was like the only person reliably interacting with the null team account and said they got incinerated. RAV. Very sad. Very sad. Um, this is Elijah Bates, who's on the Moist Talkers. Also dead. This is a also weird dark person. Yeah, this is the Ruby Tuesday zone. Uh, aquarium just kind of, you know, uh, this is Scorpler. Uh, Scorpler is just a bunch of scorpions, also married to Ryan Gosling. Uh, just kind of gave them an enclosure with a bunch of places to hide, um, an ant farm. And I wasn't sure how to represent headphones, so I just kind of put an umbrella over a stereo system. Also, Panda. Kiki Familia, in the middle of Ruby Tuesday, just a regular incineration. <laughs> uh, you know, they do so well at murdering. They should let her do it again. Let her do it again. Uh, just a bunch of cat stuff. 
you know, things that, that cats like. Also release. That's just they gave Tony's room. It's really Antonio Wallace. Natural name. It's Antonio Wallace, but uh, a Stu, Stu Trollowal RP here was like, hey, can I talk to Big Game Tony? And we all panicked because we had no idea who that was. Yeah, I tried to say Big Game Tony on the wiki and nothing came up. And I was like, who, who is Big Game Tony? And we were like, did they just make up a player? Uh, and because of, uh, the the nuddle the is that how it's trans nuddles no nuddles 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 and company um no team account uh interactions I just put a noodles and company in here I'm pretty proud of it you got like you know your kitchen noodles and company is hostile architecture is my theory it's an unwelcoming place you got your drink machine got all the weird photographs that they have on the wall and uh, some tables and chairs. This is where Big Game Tony just absolutely destroyed Tillman Henderson. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the parking lot outside of the doubles and company. Well, that raises some questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's fine. The actual Noodles and Company Twitter interacted with the Null Team because yeah, of... I hate, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I hate it when corporate Twitter accounts look at something that I'm doing and go, ha ha, a funny joke. I will also join in on the joke. I don't know what they were trying to... They must have been, like, bored or something. I don't know. What did we were doing? Yeah, they did not understand anything that was happening. They did not get the context. Uh, this is Sonic Marijuana's room. He just kind of got a shitty New York apartment. Uh, he didn't steal a chair from the from the Noodles and Company. Because that's just what people who live in shitty apartments do, in my experience. Yeah, there's just none of these chairs match. Um, just you know, I don't think that there's enough chairs for the entirety of the team to sit in here. Also, uh, oven, counter space, uh, fridge, terrible sink for doing dishes in. Uh, New York skyline, or at least a city skyline, you know, that's close enough. Is that Seattle? Is that New York? I don't know what cities look like. And this, we can't represent this in the game because it won't let me. But this is a chair just for putting uh, dirty laundry on. And there are, uh, whatever you call the tools that you use to deal with a fireplace, there are some of these over here, even though he doesn't have a fireplace, he just has a chimney, but he can't get rid of them or it will violate his lease. Apparently the picture is just the city emoji. Okay. Sure, I don't know what cities look like. No one does. Uh, this is Murray Pony? Yep, I don't know. I guess they were a horse person? Yeah, they're just a horse person who liked to party. Uh, so, a bunch of horse stuff. There's a lot of horse, horse stuff. Oh, you have so many horse people. Yep, you got... Horse bed, horseshoes, hanging those up before you go to sleep. Uh, bridle and saddle, lots of hay. Just so much hay. Uh, more hay plus two troughs and a salt lick and a keg because they were on the dolly and a, a toy to play with. Uh, Sasha Telephone. But it does not have enough telephones, and I was so mad. 
that there's no phone booth. There's no like fancy rotary phone, nope. which like, I feel like I would as a, as a person at like Maxis or EA, I would know that players are just going to want to have a fancy rotary phone for the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've got, uh, this room, which has, uh, a grill and so many phones. How many phones are in here? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then two call boxes. No one ever talks to Seb on the Null Team Twitter because the T9 is admittedly quite annoying. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people don't even know that it's T9, although I thought I made that obvious. It just makes me sad. They're just, he's just sitting out here beeping into the void and no one wants to bother to decipher it. Poor boy. Poor boy. Um, Yasmin Mason, some kind of occult deer person? Yeah, it was like a deer wizard. Yeah, so extra long bed for, for deer limbs. I didn't get Murray Pony an extra long bed, but uh, they, it's fine. Um... And some just like, you know, occult shit. Some wands. I refuse to give up the T9 bit, even though it's very annoying for me and anyone who wants to talk to me. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Fraser Schmurgle. Fraser Schmurgle. Fraser Schmurgle, who's just like a possessed puppet. So, and also something, something. Astrology, maybe? Yeah, it was like, uh, apparently found like something very important in the stars that they needed to tell everyone about, and then they died. Yeah, so uh, they do have a telescope. It just points into Scorpio's enclosure. Uh, you got a whiteboard for writing these things down. I did just arrange all these teddy bears around so it looks like they're doing stuff in the room. So these teddy bears are all playing with the dollhouse, which is also creepy. This teddy bear is writing on the whiteboard. This one is observing. Uh, there's just this pedestal, you know. Uh, this one's getting into bed. And these are watching the door for anybody who comes in. Which is what uh, Workman Gloom has to deal with. Or had to deal with whenever they went from their room into anywhere else in the house south of this. Workman's room is mostly for uh, dog stuff, for Beasley. Why does Workman have one sink? Because they were on the voice talkers. It's fine. I guess they all have to have a little feature. What? You're going to say that, that they shouldn't have a sink? I mean, the fact that the sink is just there. I mean, the weird thing is that it doesn't look that out of place until you do a double take. Yeah, look, there's pool rules. No, no diving, no running around the sink. Yeah, just kind of a bunch of stuff because Workman Gloom loves Beasley. Uh, boyfriend on real. You know, set up for dates. Bed with hearts on it. Uh, that's what boyfriend likes, I guess. Everyone loves boyfriend. It's hard to represent everyone is the person everyone can date through a room. Yeah. Uh, this is Miguel Wheeler. He's a bunch of rats and a tire, so I put a bunch of well, rodent cages. Um, and a, okay. Wheeler is the tire, and then all of the rats have their own individual contract right. with the ILB. Okay, of course. So, tires, and then places for the rats to live. Uh, who is this? Bob's Keen played for the Pies. I don't remember what their deal was. Uh, they were like a boarding school rebel. 
Oh yeah, they they never learn how to put jackets on. Yeah, so I had some boarding school stuff and some rebel stuff. So you know, you've got some protest signs. This is the paint, graffiti, spray paint. That's it. But there's also rich boy stuff. Like this is for storing wine, and this is a long table where you can sit across from your strange father and have an awkward meal. Who's next? This is the person who's a werewolf. Yeah, they were a werewolf who <laughs> has illicit relationships with a with a wild wing werewolf or something. Yeah. Um. What's their name? Hey, Haley. Okay. Yeah. Got a, a moon dial. Place to sleep when human. Place to sleep when dog. This is the umpire's room. They all have to share. There are only two dead umpires right now, but they're prepared for more. There's only one light source, and all of the walls and floors are black. And also, uh, there's only one place in this house where I could not get roof tiles, and it is over their room, so they just have to deal with it if it rains. It's the implication that it rains in the trench. <laughs> I mean, why else would you need a roof? Maybe it's just really, like, drafty in there. Yeah. Um, this is Ron Monstera, the most recent dead garage. Yep. R.I.V. incinerated on accident after getting a blessing. Yep. R.I.V. Ron Monstera. Ron has the worst room because they are between the umpires and Tillman Henderson. Tillman's room is so really much. a lot. He's got three couches because you can't sit next to your bro and game. That's okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is my least favorite couch, because it's just, like, a weird futon on top of eight milk crates. Uh, it's got a megaphone here, so he can yell at people when he loses. Uh, got a big hot tub, which, uh, the thing about hot tubs in The Sims is that they do have depth, so he did take a chunk out of, uh, three different rooms in order to have this hot tub. Got ping pong, got a keg, got a totally heterosexual statue of a mostly naked man. Just to remind him what peak performance looks like. Yeah, got this fancy clock. Uh, also been feedbacked. And gamer setup. Ironic pony. Bunch of shit just everywhere. Uh, trophy to remind him that crabs are good. Except when they're not. Unfortunately, The Sims 3 came out before, like, the red angle lines um, became the gamer aesthetic, so we couldn't give him, like, a gamer chair. Yeah. Also, uh, he's got alarms on both of these, on both of the doors, so he knows if anybody comes in and touches his shit. Um, this is August Mina, playing for the stakes, made some kind of deal with the Fae to play baseball, but not to be good at baseball. So, this is a fairy so, castle. Um, they got incinerated because of a, the Kill Your Darlings blessing, and I just find it funny that uh, the stakes' most idolized player got incinerated, and we still didn't know who it was. Yeah. The stakes are just cryptids. They're just cryptids. No I don't know anything about the stakes. Well, because their most popular player uh, was Sebastian, who's dead now. Yeah. R.I.V. Sebastian Telephone. R.I.V. R.I.V. Uh, who is this? Thomas Kirby, who's, um, his, his, like, page just describes him as, like, a very normal white cishet man who loves, like, he has a list of, like, stereotypically normie uh, likes, um, and he's, you know, married, and he has 2.5 children. But for some reason, the picture of him that the wiki uses is a picture of Naruto. 
here's a firefighter. This is probably Riley's influence. You know, sometimes you're just a normal human man who's also Naruto. Naruto is a normal human man. Sure. I mean, I, I don't know uh, much about that show, so fine. I also don't. I don't know anything about Naruto. Uh, this is Yangho Benitez, who is a photographer. So I just kind of gave him a dark room back here. Some sinks, some photographs. Uh, um, and spy stuff. They're playing for the spies. That's the spy thing, probably. Uh, you know, normal stuff. They were like a conspiracy theorist, and then they were also a person who like loaded the bases with themselves and didn't get a grand slam, but got like a pretty good run after like batting three times in a row because of um, repeating. Um, this is Annie Rowland. Played for the Magic as a park ranger and also a werebear. Annie was always on the hunt for whoever was going through all the dumpsters. And Roland loved to go through dumpsters. So we got a dumpster here for Roland. We got normal human park ranger stuff for Annie. I don't remember why I put a gnome here, but uh, I did. There's IRM where she's also like a medieval knight who always wears armor. Yeah, I can't represent that. I don't have ar I don't have a suit of armor. That's another weird thing. Like, why does it not have a suit of armor? Maybe the Sim, it's in one of the expansions. Mean. But I don't have all the expansions because my computer would refuse to load the Sims. And here's Parker's office. Parker's uh, three and four now. So I put in another chair right. for, for Parker four. Um, you know, got some books on social media, got just a shelf with some stuff on it, got a nice computer. Uh, they can't both type at the same time, they do have to take turns. Got a coffee bar, got a couch, uh, Parker doesn't get a bed. It's kind uh, of insensitive now. But you can sleep on this couch, so it's probably fine. And also, uh, oh, this is the the bad gateway. So this is where Parker has to reset the website. And this is the only functional bathroom that can be accessed in the entire house. Parker has it. So if you need to pee, you have to go to Parker's room. You do have to go to Parker's room. There you go. So here's the the ground floor from above. And here's the basement from above. There are other bathrooms, but this is the only one that's accessible. Yeah, All there the are three other bathrooms. One of them doesn't have a toilet. One of them only has two tubs. But none of the rest of them have doors that work. So yeah, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Uh, do you want to see baseball tester run through the whole thing? Sure. Let's go ahead. It it takes like what four in game hours. It takes four in game hours. So let me just say, hey, actually. Why don't, why don't you both come over here? You're here with Pet Tester. All right. Time only starts when they get around the, the house. To no has any percent. No has any percent. Baseball loves the outdoors. Baseball loves the outdoors. Okay. End game time, 2.48. Baseball is just walking. Baseball is just hanging out. Wait, can you show off the thing with the book door? Uh, I believe that I will because Pet Tester is following. 
Unless it's, I will show up the thing with the book with the book tour because I can teleport pet tester. So I will do that once this is finished. Uh, this, this is a thing that's not even related to the Null House. It's just no. the Sims being weird. <laughs> oh, oh. having a weird glitch mm -hmm. in this game that was released in, what, 2000-something? 2009. Yeah. Also, uh, Pet Tester is supposed to be, like, some kind of Samoyed yeah. creature. But when you zoom out too far, the fur just disappears. Yeah. This is what they're actually supposed to look like, but I have my polygons on really low, so this game doesn't take forever to load. Pet is just running a game, huh? Crank up all of the resolution and set your computer on fire. Yeah. You know, walking normally through the through the Nettles and Company. I don't really have any questions about the house while this is happening because it's going to take a bit. I should have frozen their needs. I should do that. I should do that right now. They're going to die in there. And we, we're not good at doing the cheats. Uh, I see. Oh, there we go. Now it's, it's fine. Nobody will die. How long did this take? Um, oh, fuck. How long did this take? When did I start like, doing this? Hour and a half segments for like a few, like a week? I mean, I could check in the chat to see when you first bring it up. Yeah. Uh, I did finish the build with the secret doors. I can open that up once it's done here. It's very fun to just kind of let them loose in this house and see what they do. Because uh, when I did not have needs as static... A place while tester would be like, oh, I need to go and sleep. And I'd be like, cool. There, There's a bed in almost every room. And then they would go and just pick a random bed somewhere in the house. And just walk to that one. Getting more and more tired as they did. Walking past completely functional beds. So it looks like the first time you mentioned, uh, would you like a tour of what I have so far, is on the 12th of November. So that was like eight days ago so like over a week yeah. yeah i think it was i think i started thinking about this around the time that 8800 blue look road was going around because i was like i want to make a cursed house although there was like i think riley posted like cursed floor plans um that we were all like oh that's evil oh yeah Here's Pet Tester. Sure, the full moon is rising. I do not care. Pet Tester is almost through. But that's because Pet Tester has decided that running is a good idea, which it is. I don't remember the floor plan having a fast pro shop in it. That's really good. Oh my god. Uh, the pitch white one, that is um, Sebastian Sunshine. Who is a being of pure light. Okay. Is Pet Tester just gonna... Is Pet Tester now stuck hanging out here until Baseball Tester makes their way through? Because they might be. And they might get stuck in that room together. I'm pretty sure there are some hallways that, like, two Sims can't do at once. There's one hallway that two Sims cannot do at once, and it's the big narrow one between Mario Doyle and Big Game Tony after that. 
Man, poor Derek. He's so sleepy. And then his next door neighbor just has all of this light pouring through like every breach between their rooms. Yeah, the ro- the um the door is, is glass. So Oh god. <laughs> Whoops. You know. Derek Derek has a bad time. Thank you for appreciating this horror. Uh Okay, pet tester's not going to do something. Just going to sniff around. Cool. Come on. You're so close, baseball tester. I'm sad that, or is there still a garage door in Jalen's room, or did no, they not? No, there isn't. It was a good joke, but Sims cannot navigate through garage doors. All right, that uh, started at what two forty-eight, two twenty-eight, and ended at seven fifty-one. It takes. I feel like it took less time last time. No, yeah, but that's because she was running. I didn't explain it. So it takes approximately five hours to get through here. Let's show off um, the the terrible thing that happens when you try to get a dog to go through a puzzle door. Where's a puzzle door? He's. I'm in the wrong direction. That's why I can't find any puzzle doors because I went to the sports book that you showed me over here. All right, pet tester. Let me teleport you up here. Hey, God. And let's uh, go here. You, you ready for this? Because it's a lot. I'm ready. I'm braced. I screamed the first time I saw it. <laughs> you screamed. All right, here we go. All right, pet tester, go through the door. phases through anyway like the door doesn't actually open yeah um, perfect it's so funny it's, it's so worth you'll see every time because going the other direction uh pet tester just walks through and stands there for a sec and i was like okay who what just happened that you thought something are you Okay, you're getting drunk. That's fine, I guess. You're you're valid. Um, but going back the other way, he does have to solve the puzzle door and does just get really fucked up. <laughs> oh God! Just in hands. He tried to be a human being and just. No, <laughs> I can't do it. I don't this, know is my to... <laughs> this is not what a body looks like. The legs are wrong. Performance looks like you might not like it, but it's true. Oh, <laughs> goes back to normal. My baseball tester is going to go 
and don't turn off all the lights. Uh, Blaze told us she was going to go and get drunk. I think that there's only one accessible keg in the entire house, and it is upstairs. So, does have a bit to go. <laughs> Loves weird dog man. <laughs> uh, just going to lobby for the next uh, jazz hands player to be a weird dog man. An unraveled raccoon. Yeah, not not like a regular dog like Beasley, just like a weird dog man. Not a werewolf, just a weird dog man. But not like a fun dog man, like a cute furry. Emphasis on weird. I do want to see if baseball testers, but no, if pet testers, like I'm gonna go into the pool again. And just have a miserable time. Let's have a bad time at the pool. Haven't we all had a bad time at the pool? But yeah, none of the null team could use the rec room until Landry got released. <laughs> nope, going off to do something else. Okay, let me pause this. Okay. Click to menu and then open up the one with the doors. All right, yeah, with the, the, the secret packages. They're not really secret, there's just uh, some archways put into the walls. That's an airplane. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a fighter jet. Uh, it's in Langley Wheeler's room. There wasn't a hoverboard, so, you know, you have to make compromises. Yeah. This is really pre-hoverboard. So, fighter jet's the closest thing. Oh, if I had Sims 3 Lunar Lakes, there might be a hoverboard in that. This looks cool. Yeah, when they're putting a, an ad in the loading screen, that's devious. Oh, yeah. You can disable it, but it is a fun point, in, like a what, an I Spy game, I guess. The I Spy thing is pretty cool. Yeah. And it does give you lifetime happiness points, which you can spend on stuff to make your sim or the lot better, I believe. Fantasy tree? Which of these things is a fantasy tree? Oh, you know, the, the fantasy tree. I've clicked Duh. on every tree, so hopefully one of those is right. All right, let me just put on a... Uh, on escape, I have to move anything around. So, of utmost importance is the shortcut to the bathroom, which does boyfriend Monreal is the only person with a room that borders the bathroom who isn't just like right next door to it. So, uh, they took one for the team. They also have other places to sleep because they are everybody's boyfriend. The fact that it doesn't have a doors. There are no doors. Uh -oh. They cannot, they don't, they can't store doors. They can just draw curtains. So, you do still have to deal with the fact that there is no door. And also, there was a light here, but they knocked that out. So, now there's only two lights in this room and it's very dark. You do your deeds in the dark. Um, Young Ho, Benitez would not let anybody knock a hole in this wall because it would ruin their dark room. There's a hole in the wall here. 
and uh, Tillman also would not let anybody knock any holes in his walls. So, nothing over here. Uh, hole in the wall here, into Murray Pony's room. There are two walls that, there are two holes in the wall. They, they both go into the matching telephone's room. Because, who is this person? Is it Elijah? No, it's not Elijah. It's, uh, it's the, fancy lad. Yeah, the fancy rebel lad who's like, I want to have multiple, uh, I want to have multiple, I'm being rebel. I want as many doors as possible, and it's two, but they both do the same place. Uh, boyfriend doesn't have to have any other holes in their walls, because they've already made the ultimate sacrifice. Is a hole in the wall here between Workman Gloom and Moody Cookbook. They'd have to move some stuff out of the way. It's fine. Uh, hole in the wall between Kiki Familia and... Yeah, so Mason, anybody who has been released, it's fair game to have holes made in their walls because they don't live here anymore. There's a hole in the wall here because the Nuddles and Company is a, a shortcut if you want to avoid Dominic's and uh, Marie Pony's room. Yeah, the secret doors to avoid Tillman are up up over here. Oh! But, you. Thank you. But once you get past that, it's just shortcuts because it sucks to walk through this house. A uh, bunch of hallways. There's bunch of doors in this long hallway. Uh, there is a door in in Dom's room. This is not accessible to a sim, but it is accessible to a hypothetical human person. It's like, how is a human person going to get in the game? Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize what you were talking about at first. Um, down here, there are some shortcuts here. There's a shortcut from Derek's room so that he could avoid Landry. Uh, he does still have to swim halfway across the pool. So I hope that's cool with him. Uh, same for, uh, Mickey Santana. There's a hole in this wall, but you do still have to swim across the pool. Sometimes you want to go bowling. Yeah, or go bowling, but you do get to avoid Smash and Sunshine's room. And, uh, potentially Landry, if Landry is hanging out in here, and also the fighter jet. Uh, can't have any holes in the wall of Jorge Ito's room because this is a controlled environment. Lizards are very temperamental when it comes to temperature and humidity. Uh, Derek's got two holes in his room. He's got one into, uh, is this Mateo Prestige? I think so. Does it have swords in it? Does it have what? Does it have? Wait, no. I I confused Mateo Prestige and another one. Whoops. I have one of the one of the shoe thieves. Um, you know, it's kind of put some holes in some walls. I am interested to see how um, a sim decides to navigate this with all the holes in the walls. So I am gonna teleport. No, 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 no. I don't want to do whatever that was. Don't want to do whatever that was. Yeah, Derek does not have to walk through Sunshine's room and get blinded and have so much headache and everything else. It probably smells in there, too, just because it's a hell room. Okay. Get teleported. Cool. Please go here. Please run here. All right. Let's see. How do you decide to what? What's your mapping? Just right out of Jalen's room. Bam. Speed run tactics. Speed run tactics. Uh. 
this is like the longest bit, and then can't actually go through that door because the stereo is partially blocking it. Uh, but apparently, uh, baseball tester decided that swimming was not going to be faster than running and declined to skip Derek's shortcut. Well, because when you swim, you have to do the whole animation change, you know, yeah. you have to the for the speed run. Skipping right through there, skipping right through there. Sad Hi. that they need a shortcut to avoid Parker. Yeah, also because it's faster. You don't have to go through all of these rooms or tell them stream to get to the bathroom. I guess it was mostly that, but still makes me sad about Parker. Just, just two Parkers stuck in a room having an existential crisis at each other. Yeah. This was before, I made this copy before uh, Parker 4 died, so there is no second chair here. But I can put another one in. Purple. My best friend Parker is baseball tester naked. Hmm? Is baseball tester naked or just in a swimsuit? No, she's in a swimsuit. If she was naked, she'd be pixelated. I don't think this is the same chair, but it's similar. I can, I can get her to change clothes. So how long do you think Parker 5 is going to last? Um, I don't know. I'm starting to start to run out of places to put chairs, though. Is Parker Parker Five still uh, st still proofing? Um, Maybe they have to let the next Parker cook longer. Yeah, they, they really let Parker Five out right away. Didn't didn't have enough time in the oven. Yeah. Yeah, any other melting questions? I want to see anything else. Now, Parker 5 gets a chair. Everybody, all the Parkers get a chair. That's the rule. We have some rules that we stick to. Umps don't get anything except for beds. Parker doesn't get a baseball or a bed, but does get a chair. Everybody else gets a bed and a chair. No, a bat and a plate and a baseball. Oh no, I didn't want to cancel that. Sorry, friend. Sniff baseball. Sniff baseball. Oh, you want to go and sniff a stereo? Can't do that. Can't get to it. I'm sorry. Don't know which stereo you want to sniff. There's other stereos. Sims like to find the only objects in the map that they can't interact with and then complain that they can't interact with them. Yeah. Especially in this house. This house is a rough one for interactivity. Yes. That's bad. That's baseball, baby. That's baseball, baby. End it by just burning it down. I don't know if I can. How how do you set things on fire is in? There, is there a cheat for? Can somebody look up and see if there's a cheat for just setting a fire?
that fire cheat without like any context. Yeah, set fire. Cheat to set fire. Cheat to set fire. Come on, let's go. Cheat to set fire. Fun slash easy way to set Sim on fire. Yeah, is there? I don't want to set Blaze Ball Tester on fire. I just want to set a fire. I mean, I can just like turn all the fireplaces and have people cook and stuff. That'll take a bit. Yeah, I think that there's no like cheat way to do it. Now, if I can force a firefighter to show up, but, um... That's not what we're going for. That's the opposite of what we want. Yeah. We want no firefighters to, to show up. I'm gonna have to do the chat, the cheat that makes firefighters leave. The curl shift C, put food in the stove, put the stove to the on sim. Complicated and boring. Uh, you may have to use I would love to use a cheat or a mod. I'm not good at using cheats, but I can. Yeah, the, the solutions people are giving are like the fireplace near rug thing, but like we don't want to do a lot of structural change. Is there a, fi is there a rug near the fireplace? And there isn't a rug here. You better rug oh. down in Tiana Cash's room. There's really not a lot here. Stop one. Just, you know. You just have to make sure that the fire doesn't reach Tyreek's room because it will actually call a firefighter then. I think that there's at least one other uh, fire alarm somewhere, but I am pretty sure that the sheet that I have on will make it so that I can just make uh, firefighters leave. So, it's fine. You can just manage them. Yeah, I can. Carol? Just gonna... Well, I'm gonna stack some rugs here. Okay, now be on fire. Come on. I poke fire. That help? Will that make the fire come faster? I would love for things to be on fire. Okay, do that again. Just keep building up the fire. doing that. Do I need more rugs? Maybe it's because they're under it and not next to it. Okay. I'll put I don't know. That. This is a lot of work for the grand finale. Um, and also it's not going to burn down very quick, so it won't be that exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of rooms to get through. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just like... Uh, Country roads crash a meteor into it, unfortunately. No, I'm just gonna start piling rugs around here. I think that that should be a command in The Sims, is just summon a meteor. Oh, I thought you were just gonna say set fire. I was gonna be like, yeah, you should just be able to set fires. That too, although I feel like that would make things too easy. I see sparks flying. If this doesn't work, then I might do the... Um, I don't want to set a sim on fire is the thing. I don't want to set blaze ball tester on fire. I want to set the house on fire. Maybe blaze ball tester 
Tester will set the rest of the house on fire. I do not want Blaze Ball Tester to die. Oh yeah, that that will that will complicate things. That will complicate things. Is it on fire, Sim? I do not care. Actually, I don't think they spread the fire. Um. I know that if you give us in the pyromancer trait, I think this or pyromaniac trait that they can just set fires, but I'm not sure. Pyromancer trait. Yeah, you just make yourself a wizard. I mean, you could do that in the Sims too. Although I don't think you could just set people on fire. I don't need to set a person. I just need to just sit standing here tending to this fire. It's four a.m. Don't you know what? That's how it is sometimes. Sometimes God just tells you to poke a fire until your house burns down. That's the null team house. It burned down. We're trying so hard to get it to burn down. It is now morning. The sun is rising. We just need an um to get in here and incinerate and place ball tester. Is it more likely to just set on fire if you're if it's not being observed? If I don't think so. Drunk. I need to set a fire in Tyreek's room. Wait, wait, wait. Is that is that fire? No, that's just a lamp. Yeah, I don't leave the house frequently for sanity's sake. <laughs> Same. <laughs> no, you can't leave. You must. You must tend the fire. You must tend the fire. This is Dark Souls. This is, Dark this Souls is exactly how Dark Souls goes, actually. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Yep, for more <laughs> me trying to set this house on fire. We'll be back. A reward. Trying to set the house on fire. Lifetime rewards can get jock influence, nerd influence, rebel influence. Uh, is there anything that makes you good at? Setting fires. The null team house is the Dark Souls of the Sims house. It's the Minecraft of hamburgers. The answer is no. Clone voucher? Oh, what? Pressure of the sword. Child-aged clone of your sim join your household. I hate that. That's so weird. That's Why do you need that? Uh, the sim is more worse than anything we could devise. Yeah. And does anybody have any other ideas for how to set stuff on fire? Or any other grand finale? It's not fire-related. There's so many rugs here. Why is none of it setting on fire? No, it's for clones, not bones. Clones. I would love a bone voucher. I, I need some new ones. What bone would you get? You could swap out one of your bones. I mean, do you count the spine as, like, an entire bone? Um, I guess it's technically made up of vertebra. 
Yeah, so I can't just get like a new spine. So hey, specific vertebra to switch out. I don't know, maybe like new new knees, new shins. Mm. What what bone would you pick? Um I don't know. A spice ball tester or a jock? Yeah. Um I should be easy to answer if I knew if there was something structural causing my migraine, because then I could swap out whatever's going on there. But have you not heard of the migraine bone? <laughs> migraine bone. Um Yelpy. Yeah, knees are a good knees are a good choice. Let's have new knees. Oh, uh new hip because my hip does a thing where like uh if I raise my leg and then lower it, the ligament goes over it and I feel it pop. And that I don't like that one bit, so maybe that is help. Sorry, I'm I'm back reading through the crabs chat, which was reacting, but not in the, uh, um, they weren't in the live stream for some reason. Okay, guys. Any, anything good in there? It's gatekeeper. Um, leaving food that's still being cooked on a sober grill would maybe work. There's a lot of grills. Um, head back here, Mars Mendoza. Lots of commentary on how first Derek in his entire existence is because of Sebastian Sunshine. Yeah, I'm having a, having a bad, bad time. It's just a bad time. It's the, it's the exact opposite of my windowless apartment. Okay, get a piece of office speed until it gets on the grill, and then, uh, leave. Cool. Okay. Don't continue growing. Just leave. Just run away. Actually, like, have her run out of the house. I'm worried that it's just going to, like, burn that room. We put so much effort into this bit. Or so much time, not a lot of effort. And also, mostly, it was you putting in the effort. I don't know why I keep using we. Just going to wash these. Now nope, they just disappeared. Oh, hell yeah! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes. A little poly smoke. Nope. Do not care about this fire. It's fine. Nope. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 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 It's fine. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. It's fire. And by love, I mean it sucks. I hate it. Why are Sims so stupid? Let me just <laughs> teleport both of them over here. Because then at least it'll take them a while to, to get there. No, don't, don't do that. Just... Yep, you can bark. That's fine. Um, do not alert the authorities. No! Do not! No! Leave! Leave! How did you get there? How did you get here so fast? You need to, like, fence them in out there. I, I can do that. Let me just 
real quick. Oh, I want to be zoomed out is the thing that I see. Okay, let me just teleport. Teleport. Nope, don't be startled. Nope, don't deal with the fire. Be teleported. No! Did the fire go out? No, it's still it's still happening. It's it's cool. It's cool. Everything's chill. Everything's chill. I hate it when I'm not teleported. Let me just uh God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Cannot Whoa. enter build by mode when there's a fire. <sighs> well oh, I guess we'll just see what happens. Maybe. Is it going to spread anywhere? Is there not enough stuff in here? I mean, it's spreading a little bit. It, it's going very slowly. Maybe you should have gotten like a bunch of grills. I mean, it's too late for it now, but... Yeah, I don't think that I can convince kind of uh, either... I don't think that I can convince them to... Okay. You can turn off free will, maybe. Oh, yeah, I can turn off free will. That's a good idea. Uh, no, no, no. Game options. No. None. You must do as I say. I am your god. I will be respected as such. Stay out here where you won't die. Or put more grills in. No! What? I turned off free will, but they're yeah. still very concerned about the fire is the problem. It is spreading. It is spreading. I just need to keep telling them to not be concerned about the fire. Pay no attention to the fire. And occasionally teleporting them out. Oh. Just. That's, that's the pool. Do not be concerned. Okay, it's spreading in the wrong direction. The rest of the house. It, it's going slowly. It's mostly just burning Z's steakhouse. Whoops. Well, we tried. Not but that's more made. Do not be concerned with the fire. Why is there no mod or cheat in the sense it just lets you set fires all around the house? So I would appreciate that. I think that that would be very useful and that many players would like it. I mean, I guess, like, they didn't need it for debug stuff. Just for setting fires? Oh, it's because... Here. Uh, go there. And then I'm gonna lock you in this room. This is the safest room in the house. Uh, wh why? I have to say, stop going to the fire. No, go here. Yeah, sometimes in the Null House, a room is just on fire and no one's allowed to talk about it. Ah, uh, can I not do door stuff when there's a fire on the lot? Door stuff. Okay, well that should take a bit, so it's fine. Uh, 
Lots of tiny fires. Is that not life, society? I don't know. Uh... Yeah. Are there any other questions while well, this burns to the ground? Anything else in crowd chat? Um, excitement about hot dog metaphor. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, is there a fire over here too? No, that's just a light. I keep thinking that light is a fire, but it's not. It's just no. Don't be concerned about the fire. You quit out while there's a fire. That's fine. I don't. I. I guess I can. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that grill's not coming back. The problem is that I think it's contained to single rooms. So it's just going to really fuck up Sia's room and nobody else's. Sometimes that's how it is. But I think we only have one audience member left. Yeah. Other than me and Ruby. Alright. Well. This is the Null Team house. There go the fires. So funny just like zooming out and seeing the fire. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke coming up <laughs> for it being underground. The Sims sure does make choices about how to how to do things. Yeah. I mean Blaze Fester's not really doing anything about the fire, she's just kinda yelling. So, you know. There's no fire alarm in here, so it's coming. And then end stream. End stream. Yeah. Quit. Just exit. Goodbye. <laughs>